So I study phasmids, and there are not many of us who do, and I, I guess I got tired of coming to ESA and not, not having any other phasmid speakers, so I thought, okay, I'll gather all of them and bring them to one place, and then I can finally hear all the phasmid talks. So I study the digestive system of phasmids, their microbes, their enzymes, the anatomy of the phasmid gut, um, and I'm going to be graduating uh, in June, and this, we found a lot of interesting things on phasmid gut. It's unlike any other... Uh, insect, the enzymes are different, the, they have organs on the gut that aren't found anywhere else, so it's a completely bizarre system. Honestly, the lab I had, uh, I work at the Bohart Museum of Entomology, we do a lot of outreach to kids, and of course we have a petting zoo with a lot of phasmids in it, and I figured we have these, it'll be easy to study, there, that's it. Um, so it was entirely out of convenience, but the more I began to read them, the more I liked to realize, you know, these are really fascinating insects, they're really different, they're great, uh, basically leaf-eating machines. Um, and it's a pity that no one has studied them because there's, there's so much in there and they're really, really useful. Um, but again, it's great that no one has studied them because that means I get to study them and I get to be the expert. So that's been a, that's been a plus. Well, don't give up. You know, you might not be able to, we didn't, you know, there aren't that many phasmid people in the U.S., but there are a few. Um, and there are certainly some people who used to work on phasmids and have stopped, but you know, it's always, I've learned a lot just from the symposium, from speakers, from hearing their stuff. So if you want to do a symposium, go for it. Uh, pick a topic that you want to hear about and that you are qualified to speak of, and why not? Shoot for it.